precedent to, to better appreciate what went into the resolution of this matter. Um, hello, good evening, President. Welcome to Eyewitness News. Um, it's it's a, a lot of people were watching the space to see what really could happen. What really went into the, the, the lifting of the blacklist ban on, on the minister? Good evening, my good brother, and good evening to your cherished listeners. And uh, let me first of all commend the uh, FM City TV for your wavering support uh, during this uh, difficult uh, moment uh, of our uh, fatality. And I hope that you will continue to stand with us, you continue to support and cooperate with the GGA in the making sure that uh, this impunity against journalists uh, are actually brought to an abrupt end. And let me quickly go into the issue. In fact, uh, uh, the last time I checked at our last press conference, uh, I made mention and I made it public that uh, Honorable Awakumsin has reached out to us, uh, calling for a truce, and has also indicated a readiness and preparedness to collaborate with the GGE uh, to bring the perpetrators to book. And as you know, uh, what actually transformed our decision, what actually uh, um, uh, actually uh, went into this uh, decision, what went into it, is the fact that we believe Honorable Awakumsen has shown uh, good faith. Uh, he has uh, demonstrated uh, uh, the fact that uh, she is indeed an honorable member by uh, redeeming a promise and a call to meet with the DJE to uh, collaborate with us and to help us uh, arrest the perpetrators of this attack. Yesterday, we had a, we had a meeting with uh, our partners all present. In fact, it was about it was about two and a half hours meeting. And at the meeting, uh, we came to a compromise. So many issues came up. Uh, so many issues came up. We have decided to... Uh, they have some of the information because we are still, most of them are still in progress, and we want to we want to make sure that uh, this uh, uh, we achieve the purpose to which uh, uh, we uh, actually expected. That is, we want to share some of the some of the discussions we have, but we found that we made certain calls and demands of air. We made some demands of the party. We made demands of the Ghana Police Service. Um, most importantly, what the public needs to know is that our cousin wasn't the perpetrator of the attack. In fact, in this circumstance, she wasn't the one who actually assaulted our colleague, our brother, David Kobner. But then the attack, attack and supporters around her did. And we have indicated that, uh, you know, in Ghana, when a police officer uh, uh, misbehaves, they would, would definitely call on the IGP and uh, IGP will be definitely will be attacked. And when the military officer uh, do same, will attack the CDS. When a journalist comes and attack, they will call on the GGE. So if our country supporters or uh, uh, people are follow, are following uh, have done this, definitely she needs to, she needs to bear the, 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 the burden or blame. And I think that that is exactly what we did. When she came, she said, in fact, there were... Uh, the reason for her resistance initially was that she only she didn't have she was not privy to most of the information we are. She I think she she had just an anti briefing from a team and then and that was what she was running with. And I we also made it clear to her that when she called, if she had taken the time to hear from us and had also uh, given the indication that she was ready to cooperate, she would have gotten enough information to work with. So, in fact, one thing that we also appreciate was the fact that he came with a minister of information designate. And as you, you know, um, the media, uh, as a fraternity, uh, we, we, work, we work hand in hand with the Ministry of Information. But under the executive arm of government, we, our ministry is the Ministry of Information, but we work uh, closely with them. So when the Minister of Information Designate actually uh, escorted her uh, to this meeting, it also gave us assurance that uh, the government uh, is also 
uh, in readiness and prepared to help us uh, bring the perpetrators to book. What she assured us of is that the information we gave her, in fact, um, at the meeting, he concurred and, and, and confirmed some of the pictures we showed to her that, yes, he knew some of them or she knows some of them. And then the ones she doesn't know, he also made it clear. And then at the point, she has to throw it to a bodyguard, a female bodyguard, uh, to also check with her if she knows some of the faces. It, it, it was really, um, should I say, a transparent, honest, and a sincere meeting. And at the end of the day, the, the team made up of the GJA, GIBA, Media Foundation, uh, our rep from NCA, and so forth, we're all convinced that uh, she has demonstrated uh, good faith and she's ready to exercise uh, good discretion. And for that matter, let's, uh, we, will, we will lift the banner. And one other guarantee is that the minister designated for information also assured us that he is going to ensure and see to it that uh, she, she also uh, support uh, our Kumsin and the DJ to arrest the perpetrators. She is going to a constituency tomorrow, uh, she said. And we know by Monday, we have gotten some good news. He is personally going to engage the police. In fact, she said that. So today, the police hasn't reached out to her, which she was worried. She indicated that she's really worried about the adamant and, and, the, and, the, and, the, and the attitude of the police. And that if the police has risen, has risen up to the top, uh, she doesn't think that she would have been blamed for such uh, misfortune. But, so but did, did, she, did, did she indicate that she knew the thugs or, or the, 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 the guys who attacked the journalists? Did she indicate in the meeting with you that she, she knew them from the evidence you showed her? Like, like I said, yes, some, some she indicated, some she accepted that, yes, she knew the thing. Like I said, because she, wasn't, she, she admitted that she wasn't there and she, 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 the debriefing she got from a team uh, actually misled her. And uh, she coming out in public or coming to uh, even distance herself and issue a disclaimer was all because of the briefing she had from a team. But after meeting us yesterday, and even with the Minister of Information herself, there was some information they were not privy to. And after making those information to them, they admitted and they realized that it did DJ at the case. And we had a strong position. And this is where we were able to we realize that uh, the Honorable was really down and was ready to assist us in this investigation. Just like I said, the pictures we showed you were the ones uh, she identified. She said, yes, she said she knew them. In fact, and the one she couldn't, she actually couldn't identify herself. She showed it to uh, a team member to help her. And she has assured that uh, once she, she reports to her constituency tomorrow, she's going to get more information. And she herself is going to engage the police. And the, the worry is that the police has told, has told our colleagues, the victim, the, 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 the assorted colleagues, that they were going to reach out to our company and after that they will invite the colleague over. And this is about two, three weeks ago. And the, and the honorable member said the police, no police officer, no one. And, it's not, it, and, it, and that is a reason. No one has reached out to her. They've not called her to this. So that should tell you that to tell you how adamant and uh, how serious the police is when it comes to attack on, on the media. I see, but how much time does she have to, to get back to you regarding her support to, 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 uh, to the whole process? Because she's indicated in, in the release you issued that she, she was going to support you to get to the bottom of this. When or how much time does she have to get back to you on this support she has pledged? Oh, thank you, my brother. I think that uh, uh, for now, we didn't give any time, just as we did to the blacklist. You remember that uh, when, when, when the decision to blacklist her uh, was the fact that uh, certain demands were made of her initially to help us uh, get to the perpetrators of this attack so that the law would take its course, which, uh, which he failed initially. So having come, having now shown a face and readiness to collaborate with us to get the perpetrators, which is in line with our initial directive or initial demand of her, that was key. And also, even with the blacklist, you realize that we said that uh, to further notice, we, 
We didn't give any timeline. We wanted depth definite. We are very much confident that in the coming week, at least from now to next week, we should be able to arrest the perpetrators of this attack. If not all, at least we should be we should get hold of some. Something is here as sure that and we can we can uh, hold on to that. In fact, I have said that uh, I don't want to believe that it's a mere rhetoric, or I don't want to believe that uh, you just want to uh, she just play with and with 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 our mind. But let's be mindful that we have the minister designated for information, and this ministry needs the collaboration and cooperation of the GDA Media Foundation, Giba Impact to succeed. So if the minister designate we want to put a job on the line, especially knowing her very well as a deputy minister who has worked with us closely and has been promoted to this, uh, to this honorable position. We don't, we don't expect her to risk a job or to put a job on the line. Without us, she cannot succeed. And I can assure you that we'll do everything to make sure that justice is served and our brother or colleague is, uh, uh, is attended to or get justice. Has the GJ, maybe the local GJ in the central region or wherever, um, attempted to to follow up the matter with the police? Has there been any uh, uh, development on that front? Yes, my brother. Yesterday, the the our regional secretary uh, escorted that the central region secretary escorted uh, the victim. That's our our colleague who was assaulted to the regional office to follow up on the matter, and then we were told that the regional commander, the regional crime officer, as well as the Investigator, uh, they were, I think they were all in a meeting, so they, they, they couldn't get out of them. We are still, we are still monitoring. We have asked them to do the same. We are going to uh, write again to the police to re echo and to we make and we to also uh, remind them of our initial call and demand. Uh, we gave ten days in our last uh, in our last call, and the ten days ended today, and in the coming days. You will get to know the position of the DJ if the police doesn't act. Very well. So, so that's in respect of uh, the the case with David. But I, I guess David is doing well and is back on air. Do, do, do you know whether he's back on air or not? Yes, I know. Yes, he's it, fine. He's fine now. But we are aware that he's still been visiting uh, the doctor. He's still been uh, receiving medical attention. But uh, he's really going about uh, his legal duty, and uh, we thank God for that. We we just hope that uh, uh, air security or safety. Will not also be compromised under the current circumstances. So mm -hmm. I think for now we, we are aware he's doing well. Very well. So so from David Kobner. Now let's move to uh, Mohamed Alabira, who is our colleague here. Um, so his incident happened. There was a press conference you addressed on the sixth of February, and you made a few uh, points and you 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 a few ultimatums etc. Were also um, issued. What is the latest in respect of Mohamed Alabira's attack uh, uh, perpetrated on him by the? Uh, uh, Yindi MP uh, Farouk Mahama. Okay, thank you so much, uh, my brother. I think Allah Allah Bira uh, is not is not only your colleague; he is our own. Uh, the the no one, whatever any journalist, any media practitioner is attacked. You have attacked me, the DJ president. You have attacked the entire media body, and so uh, we we take the fight. We take it up as we fight it for our own self and not for. The, the individual attack. So I can assure you that it is not only it's not only for you, but it's for all of us. Now let me give you the update. As we speak now, yes, we we as we as we promised, we are to uh, meet with the speaker. We are trying to uh, sit all day before the speaker to formally and officially uh, uh, present a petition to him uh, to hold uh, the 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 honourable member of parliament before the public committee. Something. We have mentioned or we have said earlier. Again, we have so indicated that the uh, the blacklist or the blackout is still in force. Uh, is still in force on uh, Rabu Farouk Mahama, and we are still waiting on the police. My my regional chair reached out to me uh, on the, on the, on 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 I think three days ago, and then uh, in fact they, they gave me some briefing which I will I would love to hear for now because we are still. Probing and investigating further, we are still uh, reaching out for uh, better and further particulars. So I wouldn't want to put it out there. But I can tell you that we are following it. My regional executives are in full charge and control. Then our 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 regional lawyer, which is the lawyer for the Northern Region, is also uh, 
uh, on standby to handle any issues of legality. We we are there are possible uh, we have we have options available to us aside the the call on the speaker aside the criminal prosecution. We are also we are also um, weighing the option of also taking several actions. And I know that that week we'll do uh, collaboration with all the other stakeholders, including CP, CP and stuff. So these are options. But for now, uh, it is still in force. The 10 days ends today. By next week, our position will be made public. Very well. Uh, thanks so much, Mr. President. Thank you so much. Thanks so much for fighting for, for, for the profession, standing up for us and ensuring that we are safe as we, we go ahead, we go about our doing our job. Eyewitness News on 97. Point three.